啊，大家好，这里是零度解说。就在昨晚 ，OpenAI 突然扔出一个重磅炸弹 ，GPT 4 o 毫无征兆的发布了。这是 OpenAI 目前最新的旗舰大模型，它可以让我们实现和 AI 进行实时的视频通话，效果如真人般丝滑流畅，真的是太炸裂了。GPT 4 o 里的 O， 它是这个 o m i n i 的缩写，也就是全能的意思，不仅可以免费使用，能力更是横跨听、看、说、交流，毫无延迟。就像是在给 AI 打一个视频电话一样，我们现在就来一起看一下他们昨晚的直播视频。Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling, though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement, or that you are the announcement?、Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me. Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI, or more specifically about me as a part of OpenAI? You've got me on the edge of my. Well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. Today, we're going to try something new.、We're、going to let you talk to another AI. This AI is going to be able to see the world. It's going to have a camera. I'll be holding it, and so you can direct it. You can direct me to ask questions、um, about whatever you want them to do. But really, try to figure out what's. What does it see,、um, and and ask questions appropriately? How does that sound? <laughs> well, well, well. Just when I thought things couldn't get any more interesting, talking to another AI that can see the world. This sounds like a plot twist in the AI universe. All right, let's do this. All right, ready please to meet the- pause for one moment. You got it. So now that first AI can't hear anything. Hello, AI. Today you're going to have access to see the world. You can see me. What do you see? Hello. I see you're wearing a black leather jacket and a light-colored shirt underneath. Great. You're in a room with some unique lighting. That, that is all correct.、Like、Now, what I'm going to want you to do is there's going to be another AI who's going to talk to you. Going, th- this AI is not going to be able to see anything. Uh, but can ask you questions, can ask you to move the camera, can ask what you see, and your job should just be helpful. Just be as punchy, direct, describe everything, do whatever that AI asks. How does that sound? That sounds interesting. I'm ready to help out and describe whatever's needed. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. Great. Hello there, new AI friend. I'm O. Ready to explore the world through your eyes. What are we looking at today? Hi, O. We're looking at a person wearing a black leather jacket and a light-colored shirt. They're in a room with a modern industrial feel, with exposed concrete or plaster on the ceiling and some interesting lighting. There's also a plant in the background, adding a touch of green to the space. Anything specific you'd like to know or explore? Hey there. Sounds like quite the stylish scene. I'm already intrigued by the modern industrial vibe. Let's start with the person. Can you tell me more about their style? Are they doing anything interesting, like reading, working, or interacting with the space? The person has a sleek and stylish look with their black leather jacket and light-colored shirt. Right now, they seem engaged with us, looking directly at the camera. Their expression is attentive, and they seem ready to interact. The setting around them, with its modern and industrial design elements, adds to the overall stylish feel. They might be getting ready for a conversation or a presentation, given their direct engagement with the camera. 
Sounds like we're in for an intriguing interaction. I'm curious about the lighting you mentioned. Could you describe it a bit more? Is it natural light, or are we talking unique fixtures or colors that add to the atmosphere? The lighting here seems to be a mix of natural and artificial. There's a noticeable bright light overhead, probably a fixture, casting a focused beam downwards, which creates a spotlight effect. This adds a dramatic and modern feel to the scene. The rest of the room is lit more softly, possibly by natural light filtering. Was in anything, did anything, anything unusual happen recently? Yes, actually. Uh, just as you asked, uh, another person came into view behind the first person. They playfully made bunny ears behind the first person's head and then quickly left the frame. It added a lighthearted and unexpected moment to the scene. And now the focus is back on the original person with the leather jacket. Sounds like we're not the only ones enjoying a bit of fun here. That playful moment really adds a personal touch to the stylish and modern setting. It's like a little glimpse into Thank the you personality. Thank you both. Really appreciate it. All right. And actually, can you uh, just sing a song about what just transpired? Oh. In a room with a stylish view, a person stood in sleek black and light hue. Engage with us, so so direct. And can you just can you uh, alternate lines? Mm -hmm. Person with style and speed, person with style and sleek, with a playful moment right in the midst in the room. In a room where modern lights speak. Only no one line focus. at a time, and then stop. In a room where modern lights peak. A surprise guest with a playful streak. That was not really singing. Do, do, do the singing voice again, please. In a room where modern lights peak. S surprise guest with a playful streak. Bunny ears and laughter, a swift retreat. A moment of joy in the stylish suite. Now back to focus, the scene's complete. In the chic space where style and play meet. Looks like it's back to you. And thank you. You're welcome. OpenAI invited myself and my son Imran here uh, to try out some of their new technology. And so we're curious about how good it might be at tutoring someone in math on Khan Academy. So let's get it started. It's loading up. All right, make sure I can see our screen. Actually, in, in this format, Hello there. I can't... I'm here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem. But don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction. But I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course. I'd be happy to help. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember yeah, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC? You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite side to angle alpha? Okay, well, I mean, you told me earlier that this was the adjacent side, and I know that's the hypotenuse, so I'm guessing that this side, BC, is the opposite side. Great deduction. 
That's absolutely correct. Now that you've identified all the sides relative to angle alpha, do you remember the formula for finding the sine of an angle in a right triangle? Yeah, I know that um, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Perfect. That's absolutely right. Now, can you apply that formula to find sine alpha in the triangle using the lengths of the sides that we've identified? Okay, so, I mean, you told me that 7, this side BC, is the opposite side. And then you said that the hypotenuse is the longest side, so that would be this side AB, which is 25. So would, we, would the answer be 7 over 25? Excellent work. That's correct. Sine alpha equals 7 over 25. You did a great job identifying the sides and using the sine formula. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. If you are using Plus, you can also use the GPT-4O app. After downloading, on the right side, you have a GPT-4O. After downloading, it will show you the latest and latest version of GPT-4O. It is faster than GPT-4O, and you can understand the pictures and learn more about the language. Let's use the language of the language. 最后 ，OpenAI 还有一份大礼给所有的人。接下来 ，GPT-4O 和 ChatGPT Plus 会员版所有功能，包括视觉、联网、记忆、执行代码、GPT 应用商店，将对所有用户免费开放。更多有关 GPT-4O 的相关资料，我会把它放在视频下方，还有领读博客上。